After succeeding in the beginner zone, Fan toured her out. She was curious if they were heading along the people that were walking toward their direction. Fan explained that everyone here is going to catch the golden chick. It turns out that there's an event where they could exchange one gold per golden chick. Hiram was excited to catch the golden chick since she could buy whatever food from the town. Unfortunately, the area had been crowded because of this event so Fan expected this would be hard for them. Hiram was flustered to see many people. Their attention is caught by the guy who's asking to give him a golden check. This made Fan realize that beggar users still existed even though doing it on their own was faster. On Piram's thought, she was glad that she met Fan. Meanwhile at the Tucana Plains camp, there's a chicken that asks if they could help her out to find her children after the carriage collapsed while passing to the plains and ran away. She shows a picture of a chick that she promised that she's going to reward them one gold per chick. Fan warned Piram to carefully look at the picture because they might mistake it for another chick. Ironically, she found it difficult to understand since the drawings are almost the same as other chick. The event was labeled as Living Gold of Tucana, where Mrs. Golden Hen lost her children in the Tucana Plains and they must return them. Each golden chick has a reward of one gold and if they collect 999 chicks, something great may happen. Hiram was curious about the ratio of golden chick and the people looking for it so Fan explained that there's more people looking than chick that Piram assumed they might not be able to catch a single one. He added that there's a lot of people here unlike the past. Suddenly, he almost revealed the truth so he reasoned himself that he had seen some conquest videos so Piram believed him. He immediately changed the topic so Piram won't make questions that might reveal his identity. As they move toward, many people swarm around to find some golden chicks. On Fan's thought, he said, isn't it a little bit too much to capture one chick in a pair? So he decided to ask Piram to limit the number of chickens that they can catch if they go to places together so he advises them to scatter and meet up later to catch a lot more. Without even hesitating, Piram agreed and made a 10 silver bet on someone that caught more. Fan remembered that Piram only had 3 silvers that made her realize this so she decided to do this because she is determined to catch a lot of golden chicks. Moreover, she ran away to start catching golden chicks and Fan cheering her up. Somehow, on Fan's thought, he was guessing that catching 2 golden chicks that would be enough for them. Piram immediately looked around the area. She even tried to seek golden chicks from the bushes. Therefore, she caught a chick from the bushes. As she came back, Fan saw her carrying a lot. Hiram was happy that she caught a bunch of chicks. She proudly said that this was easier than she thought but Fan looked closer to check it. To her astonishment, Fan said that these aren't golden chicks. Hiram couldn't believe it so she assumed it was only a lie. Fan pointed to the drawing earlier and he pointed out the difference of the chick from the color of its eye. So she is disappointed that she didn't catch any of this. Fan look at every single chick that Piram caught and unfortunately, none of these are golden chick. Piram is disappointed but Fan cheers her up since this is a common issue from the first timers. She was startled when Fan mentioned it for the first time since this is also his first time. So he reasoned again that he saw the conquest video on YouTube once again. After two hours have passed, they still can't find a single golden chick so Fan decided to look together but Piram doesn't want to since they have a bet. Moreover, Fan starts to move and reminds her about the 10 silver bet. As they were about to split, Piram noticed a chick that was shining below her. Suddenly, everyone notices it and starts to jump over to catch it. Unfortunately, Piram didn't manage to catch it while everyone tried their best to secure the catch. Piram realized the reason why this event was hard. The sun had been set and yet, Piram didn't manage to get one golden chick. She assumed that Fan might already have one. Suddenly, she heard a chick noise around the bush. She was surprised that there's a golden chick inside the bush. Piram tried to sneak to catch the golden chick. As she approached the golden chick, it jumped. Because of the noise that she made, someone noticed her along with the golden chicken. This made her attract other people. As the guy observed, the way Piram attempted to catch the golden chicken was like a beginner. Eventually, he saw a statue of a chicken that he assumed was a fake. Suddenly, the chicken statue moves toward him to stop his intention. This statue warned him to go away. Afterwards, Piram finally managed to catch the golden chick while the guy behind her was confused about the statue. The guy noticed that she already caught the golden chick but Piram looked hesitant but she saw any indication that this was a real golden chick. However, the guy turned away after getting annoyed while Piram had no idea what just happened. Out of nowhere, a beggar came into this guy and asked to give him a golden chick but the guy was so upset. He suddenly pushed the beggar to make him stop asking about one golden chick without listening to his reason. As the beggar mentioned that he only needed one golden chick for his one month quest, Piram felt pity at him and it reminds the same thing as her when she was in the beginner zone. If you are new to my channel, please let me know where you from in the comments section so I could know what country my man or recap reaches.
all of a sudden, she approaches him. Even though it was hard for her to catch one golden chick, she gave it to the beggar. Without any hesitation, he immediately snatched the golden chick. He thanked her simultaneously for giving the golden chick. Moreover, they head back to the camp to claim their rewards. Fan asked about the chick that she caught so she explained that she clearly caught one but she gave it to the beggar. Fan assumes that this is only a lie because she doesn't want to lose the bet but she denies it. Suddenly, the quest was about to end so Fan decided to claim the reward. Unfortunately, Piram forgot the 10 silvers bet if who loses on their deal. Suddenly, players were startled when something appeared in front of her. She had no idea that there's a golden hen that materialized in front of her. She was startled to see a giant golden hen. It turns out that this was the same beggar who was riding in a golden hen and Piram couldn't believe it. Piram remembers this guy where she handed the golden chick earlier. Everyone was talking about it because this golden hen has a worth of 999 chicks. He then sarcastically made fun of Piram's perspective that helping each other is fun. Suddenly, the guy flew away and Fan was late for the incident. However, Fan asked Piram what actually happened from the chick that she caught earlier. She was trembling to tell the truth about the chick that she gave to the beggar that has a 999 worth of gold so she reasoned herself that she actually caught a wrong one that Fan immediately understood. As Fan tries to encourage her to move forward to farm for level, she can't move on about what she just wasted earlier. Meanwhile, Jun Hayek recovered from faint. The only thing he remembered was riding in a gold. As he touched his head, he couldn't believe what just happened. It turns out that his hair has gone. However, the bird was tired from flying for the whole three hours. It turns out that he is looking for Piram for the mail that he needed to deliver. As the night comes, the mail bag falls down. Suddenly, it landed on Piram's head. The male bird immediately rushes towards him to help her out. He apologized and introduced himself as Paxicana, a postal service and he was looking for Pipiram. As Fan mentioned Piram, he notices it. He then realized that he was actually standing over her. Afterwards, he handed a letter to Piram that cost three silver, which is the remaining money on her. She was concerned about the letter that Paxicana handing to her since she had no idea what is this all about. Paxicana mispronounced Piram's name so he immediately changed it. Moreover, the three silvers had been deducted to her account and she received a teacher's letter that made her confused. Suddenly, she realized the sage had scammed her earlier. Fan tries to calm her down since they had no idea what this is all about. Moreover, Piram remembers the sage said to her that when the right time has come, he will come but she had no idea why he sent a letter to her. As they were trying to open the letter, the game system notified that she was required to have basic sorcery and sage knowledge to read this letter that confused her. So she asked Fan if he knew what this was. He explained that the basic sorcery is one of the prerequisite skills of the sorcerer's meaningly. It's something that she must have to learn before changing jobs which confuses him since she never had this. She explained that she just paid to get her job changed so Fan decided to go to the Tower of Sorcerers immediately since this is important as a sorcerer. However, she was hesitant because she's broke but Fan decided to treat her since he had money from the golden chick so he could buy anything she needed. Piram was trying to stop Fan from buying anything for her but Fan was determined to buy this and she needed to pay him back with interest when the right time came. Afterwards they walked toward the Tower of Sorceresses. Without them knowing, Jun Hayek was actually behind them and following their trails. Afterwards, they managed to reach the Tower of Sorcery. They are surprised to see a lot of sorcerer items inside. But somehow, Piram noticed how expensive the items were. Fan immediate walked towards the counter to purchase the basic sorcery and sage knowledge for Piram. The merchant said that the basic sorcery books that they are looking for is on the second floor and for the sage knowledge they needed to meet him by themselves so she asked if they want to make an appointment. Piram immediately agreed and as the merchant checked the schedule, the sage was unable to be booked within two weeks after the events at the Tower of Sorcery ended. Piram was disappointed to hear this since she was rushing. She has been in the beginner zone for one month so waiting for two weeks will take her time a lot longer. Therefore, Fan decided to get her skill book first and he is going to try to figure out how to make an appointment with the sage. He explained further details like for high ranking NPC, without making an appointment it would be hard to meet them so they must wait for two weeks but he was pretty sure that there is a way to meet him just like how she met him earlier. However, Piram is really rushing to meet him as soon as possible so she can level up much faster. Moreover, they finally bought the basic sorcery knowledge. Piram was so happy that she can finally use more skills. All of a sudden, they meet youngsters arguing about which is the best to put their status points. One of them was talking about the balance and the other guy was focusing on magic output damage so the other kid decided to ask another high level about their opinion. 
As Piram passed by, they immediately noticed her. Without any hesitation, they walked towards her, which startled Piram. They were asking her about how she distributed her status points as sorcerer. She said I allocate the status points to both wisdom and intelligence evenly. Finally, they heard someone's opinion and one of them was right about balancing wisdom and intelligence. Piram was flustered to see someone more beginner than her. She then proudly said, well if there are other things you guys are curious about, feel free to ask me. All of a sudden one of the youngsters asked her what element she was using. Fan let her to have some fun for a while but all of a sudden, someone before him just appeared. This just suddenly approaches them and stating the best element was electricity. They were confused of what's with him. He complimented that fire was also good and as for the status points, he advises all in intelligence. He warned them to not put wisdom because this only ruins their character so he advises them to reset their character as early as they can. Hiram was startled to hear that wisdom isn't meant to be increased. Fan immediately deny this because if they only put their status point in intelligence, it will only make magic critical damage and mana would be insufficient meaning the balance is reduced. The kids behind Piram assume Fan doesn't know a lot about sorcery so they think he is also a beginner. As he belittles Fan, he thinks he is a low level knight so he opens his information window that shows that he is level 97, a top sorcerer electric pad. Piram was so shocked to see a level 97 for the first time. Electric Pad explains that as a sorcerer, they must have the biggest firepower to support in the rear because if they have low firepower, they won't be able to help the frontliners. Therefore, to prove this, he invited everyone to show it physically instead since it was hard to explain in verbal. Electric Pad was determined to show this since he is pretty sure that they won't regret what he said about putting status points in intelligence. Fan noticed this so he asked Piram if Electric Pad was the same as her where they can one-hit massive magic spells. Eventually they reached their destination destination where training dummies were waiting for them. Electric Pad prepares himself to start his magic spell. He then casted his thunderbolt. As he landed his attack, a large scale of magic spells had been landed on the dummies. Because of his massive damage scale, his attack was very effective against the target dummies. He proudly showed off his skill while he was panting and he then asked Piram to cast her spell too. She was curious about this. Fan then pushes her up to show what she can do but Piram was hesitating because she might fall asleep immediately. Moreover, she had no choice and decided to do this. As Fan observed, he saw Electric Pad's face doesn't reflect wanting to teach the youngsters. All of a sudden, he noticed Piram's spell. She managed to cast her blaze spell to attack the target dummies. As she landed this, a large scale of damage had been done due to her uncontrollable power. Electric Pad was so shocked to see her basic magic spell so strong as this. He accused Piram that she might have used a magic amplification scroll since he had never seen such a low level magic spell to have a massive scale of power before. After a few moments, Piram collapsed because of her sleep master job. They were confused about what just happened to her. Electric Pad keeps on accusing Piram using an amplification scroll since there's no way a level 16 sorcerer with a cobbled set would be able to cast such magic. All of a sudden, someone whacked on Electric Pad's head. It was the sage who advised him on not to judge anyone thoughtlessly. The sage apologizes on his behalf after what his student did. Moreover, they head to the top of the tower. The sage invited them to his room to have some conversation with them. Fan felt relieved to be able to meet the sage of the tower so easily. The sage apologized about the negligence of his disciple who had behaved rudely earlier. Without wasting any time, he immediately noticed that they wanted to make an appointment with him and they were also looking for the sage knowledge. Fan was surprised about this so sage explained this is because of Piram's spell. This kind of spell usually can't be commonly obtained and he offers 500 gold for the sage knowledge. The sage knew this kind of money was so big for them but Fan didn't hesitate to purchase it. As he is about to say that he is going to the back for a while, Piram already woke up. Suddenly, her attention was caught by the sage after greeting her. He introduced himself as the owner of the tower, the sage of the tower. Without any hesitation, her anger came in and she punched the sage after being so mad at making her job as sleep master. Fan were startled to see this. Because of her anger, the sage flew away from his chair. Fan immediately hold her out to stop what she's doing. However, on Fan's thought, he knew that they are in big trouble now but he was curious how she could hit the high-ranking NPC. The sage's amicability towards Piram lowers down by 30 and he tolerates her behavior since she's a disciple of his brother. As he was about to say that she must be updated about his brother, another punch landed to his face. Fan was unable to stop her action since she was really desperate not to be fooled again. 
The sage decided to ignore what just happened since she is one of his brother's disciples so he can try to turn a blind eye to what she just did. When Piram wants to punch him again, Fan acknowledges her that this guy was the real sage of the tower who called Aragos Petit Chief. This guy was the older of two brothers of the Sleep Master. She then realized that this is the person that she was about to meet in two weeks. She immediately apologized about what she did to him but the sage wanted them to leave since he wanted to be alone. Unfortunately, because of Piram's action, they got messed up again and she assumed that Fan must be disappointed at her. She assumed that Fan might leave her because of this. Piram apologizes to Fan because of what she just did. She pitifully blamed herself. Suddenly, she cried so hard that made Fan confused why she cried just suddenly. He was trying to stop her from crying. All of a sudden, Fan hugs her out since he had no idea what to do. Piram keeps on apologizing to him. Even though she did something wrong, Fan forgives her for what she did. Instead of crying, Fan wanted to find another way to have the sage knowledge for her that surprised Piram. However, Piram felt awkward at Fan for holding her. Moreover, they decided to find another way to have the sage knowledge as soon as possible. However, his brother was spying on them. He was mad that his plan might fail if this continued so he was planning to separate Yun Yung from Fan as soon as he could. They were brainstorming for a plan to interact with the sage. Piram suddenly came up with an idea of meeting other sages if they are unable to meet the sage of the tower, but Fan immediately rejected this idea. He explained that the sleep master already knew that she would be coming to this tower. Also the sage of the tower also knew that she was looking for the sage knowledge. Suddenly, she felt depressed to hear this. All of a sudden, someone approaches them. This was Electric Pad and he noticed that they had a good conversation with the Sage. Suddenly, Fan found him as a way to meet the Sage again. Therefore, he asked Electric Pad if they could have a favor from him so he immediately agreed and invited them to his room. As time passed by, a burst of laughter could be heard from the outside. It turns out that they told everything just happened when Piram punched Aragos after mistakenly thinking this was the Sleep Master. Therefore, he decided to ask one of his questions before he taught how they could improve their amicability with the sage. Piram felt gladly happy to hear this. Therefore, he asked Piram if her story about being a sleep master was truly real. She immediately understood his point. As Piram was about to tell the truth, Electric Pad became excited. She added other than that, I lost all of my money while I was asleep after using a spell. This made Electric Pad realize this was actually true. Afterwards, he proceeds and since he did hear about the Sleep Master, he doesn't expect it to be like this. As a promise, he is now going to tell the way to increase their amicability to the Sage. He opens a scroll. He pointed out the cubic forest from the south. Electric Pad was pretty sure that the Sage was doing some research about this place for a while so he thought that if they could help him with his research, they might be able to change his perspective about them. Moreover, he had a request for them. He favored that once they meet the Sleep Master again. He wanted to let him know he wanted to meet him too so Piram did. Without wasting any time, they head to the south. Out of nowhere, Piram remembers Fan mentioning about 500 gold so she asked what this is for. She said when they were at the sage's room you say it so Fan explained that the sage knowledge costs 500 golds. This startled her to cost too much. She got concerned how they could get this large amount of money so Fan thought of finding golden chicks. His idea was to catch 500 golden chick to get 500 gold. Piram got mad at his idea because of how hard the golden chick was to catch. Therefore, she moved forward to find another way to earn money since there are a lot of other ways to earn. But somehow, he is concerned about her after hearing this amount of money which is hard to earn but he knew he could just buy it for her. Meanwhile, inside the sage room, Aragos knew Kang Jun Hayuk for a long time and he was glad to see him again. But other than that, he apologized for being too sudden because he had something important to ask of him. If you want the next part of this manual recap, please comment your opinion and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for support.